Whew. Okay. Night in the Woods is an amazing game. been replaying it recently, it's something of a yearly tradition for me at this point, and the whole experience, the familiarity, it never gets old. Five years ago too, doesn't feel real. That's when Jack had the green hair. Anyway. If you don't know, Night in the Woods is a funny little animal game with a comparatively human narrative. Emphasis on narrative, by the way, you know, they got, they got narrative in spades. The fellow behind most of the game's fantastic dialogue is Scott Benson, who you should follow on Twitter, he's, he's, he's a good laugh. But back to the point. The game itself takes place over the span of a few weeks as you, the player, take the role of May Borowski. Oh my. A 20 year old college dropout who's retreated back to her hometown of Possum Springs in what I can only assume is video game Pennsylvania as a result of a certain incident which goes largely unexplained in game up until the closing quarter which is crazy spoiler territory. Play the game if you want the full breakdown. Please. Please play the game. <laughs> and here's why you should. Alright, first things first, as I said, narrative experience, but that isn't to say the game hasn't got me, alright? You know, even if you're not a fan of words, the game's got me. And it takes the form of May's day-to-day, -day, where she tries to reintegrate into a place where she barely recognises as the same Possum Springs anymore. Oh, but it's a good thing those old friends of yours are still in town. Gentlemen, let me introduce you to the supporting cast. And man, they weren't lying. That cast can support. Greg, B, Angus, and Germ are some of May's last remaining anchors of safety in a crumbling hometown, and yet even they are still changing, growing up, making plans, forgetting you. Unless you can change things. I mean shit, bring the band back together. Take B on a completely impromptu trip to the mall where the existential dread sets in ever more at May's revelation that with the gradual advancement of technology, places like these are already on their last legs and you should probably just find somewhere else to fix your broken friendship and... and Greg? I don't know man, do you like light bulbs? You would notice around this point that the game begins to take the branching paths route, as you can only devote so much time of your day to a single friend at once, and in a game with this much intimate and nuanced character writing, you really find yourself becoming attached as you gradually come to an understanding and find out exactly what makes these beautiful, flawed, human being, animal beings tick. Alternatively, you can be like me when I was 14 and dismiss all that ridiculous pseudo-intellectual implicit stuff and enjoy the pierogies and the great banter. It makes no difference to me, man. I'm just trying to sell you something. But it's these moments, this intimacy and realism, which is part of what makes Night in the Woods such a home run for me. The game invokes comfort, relatability, nostalgia. And that's coming from a British kid from a council estate and only slightly smaller college problems. But that's the world you get sucked into, the town where every day you've got the same miscellaneous townsfolk to commune with, the same light bulbs to and the same enriching soundtrack by the late Alec Kaloka backing it up every step of the way. And speaking of the soundtrack, holy shit the soundtrack. You know there were a few years when the game first came out where the shit wasn't even available on Spotify. Dark days man. At the end of it all, if there's any kind of closing note I can leave this messy unfocused video on, it's that Night in the Woods is yet another example of an indie game masterclass. One which, in my humble opinion, never truly was given the spotlight it may have deserved. And I wouldn't exactly say this has been me working to change that, more so just moulding about one of the best narrative experiences I've ever been exposed to, but if by any chance watching this that you haven't heard of or played the game yourself, I implore you to give it a go, since I really only scratched the surface on what Finji and Infinite Fool have accomplished here. Really neglected to mention those weird astral guys and the porn log. Anyways, this has been Weave. Catch you later.